Okay, uh, walk 56, where it's on 29th of August 2018. Uh, got started a wee bit later, well, started filming a wee bit later, just problems with the camera, so maybe the video will be thankfully a bit shorter. There we go, just through the. Now, I did cut my foot yesterday. I'll cut the second biggest toe. It's funny because the puddles aren't really that deep today, so they've obviously been absorbent. It's always the case I wanted, it must be about half eleven, and I wanted to do a longer walk, but uh, when you're always on leave, there's always something else, you always find something else to do. As we can see. Okay, we'll just do the usual route straight down. Do the mid section. Okay, I've missed about the first. Well, I don't know. Missed, missed all that about. So, uh, so be it. It's kind of funny when I'm. Okay, I should really be doing exploring more. Every time I keep exploring more, uh, planning on exploring more, something happens and. Your plans turn to once after you go elsewhere, or you always you start out with these great ideas. Then something happens, and you've got to make a phone call, and you've got to make got to make an appointment. Uh, and you've also got to try and select just the right time for go ahead doing this. Um, and like I was saying, there's I've always got to do the shopping first thing in the morning, uh, at some point in the morning. Um, then me being me, I'll catch up on the news, catch on the football news, make sure... Uh, the worst thing about... I don't know. Uh, the worst thing about going through a difficult time is that a lot of the pleasures that you would normally have in life are just go, well, you just can't be bothered with anything. All the things which, uh, I'm not saying it's, well maybe it is a bit of depression, but it's a standard thing that a lot of the things that you take great pleasure in disappear, they go, forget it, it doesn't, uh, you know, you just don't get the same enjoyment that you normally would. Uh, so uh, I was trying to catch up on the football news and catch up on the goals from last night and I just couldn't get into it because it's more or less a whole bunch of teams that I don't really care about um, and yeah I just couldn't get into it. I, appreci I always appreciate the skill and I always appreciate the goal. Uh, I always appreciate what they do and I appreciate the difficulties of it uh, because it's all about winning the game but to be honest I would sooner have more credit being paid than the goalkeeper because at the end of the day uh, in the case of the uh, strikers they've got endless guys to pass to they've got endless opportunities the goalkeeper's a six foot guy who's generally well generally six foot uh, and he's got like eight yards by eight, eight yards by eight feet to cover. I mean, he's got a big space to cover. Uh, no matter how good his reflexes. So I guess I've always appreciated the art of goalkeeping more than what I have done the art of striking. I would sooner see a great save than a great uh, Even I can punch something from about twenty yards reasonably accurate and very hard. Uh, I guess also because when I was a kid I was a goalkeeper as well, so goalkeeper or central defender. Um, take a look down here just in case. Obviously we can't use that field, but... Look, this 
path that is If you had a great stress, the CEO Steve Gerard does against his former manager. We'll see. Uh, have a whole bunch of dafty, uh, a whole bunch of dafty singing songs about something they can't possibly understand. I think that sums it up. Uh, singing Real Britannia, singing the English National Anthem, well, British National Anthem, which is anti-Scottish. Uh, and the uh, Celtic supporters are just as bad. However, it's all part of the, I don't know, the wind-ups, I guess. Despite being a ranger supporter, I still find it kind of depressing how both the uh, country, how both the two biggest teams in Scotland uh, are more likely to show the trickle out of Ireland. Ireland are the Union flag of Britain. They can't take pride in being Scottish. Uh, I don't know, maybe I am the most anti blue nose blue nose ever. If you aren't too bad, a wee bit of mud at the back. Uh, six minutes in, okay, still got to do the midsection. So at times where I was talking to somebody about talking I've been talking a lot about depression and so on. And okay, yeah, I've spoken at length saying that I'm going through a bad time in life. And I suppose part of my routine for every day is to do this trail. Um and okay I could do a lot more exploring and so on. But and I just probably should do. But it's, I guess it's part of my routine that uh, I think when you're going through a difficult time, routine is everything. You work out what you need to do for the day, you plan it. Planning's everything. Work out exactly how you're going to do everything. And you just have to, when I'm out here, it's not just the fresh air and the relaxation and the routine. The routine's also a big part of it. Uh, I know I might bump into a couple of people, but generally speaking, it's actually quite quiet. If I was going to the woods uh, or a different field, I might bump into about half a dozen people. And then the more people you bump into, the more the more you kind of the more likely it is you'll get some stupid comment about being barefoot and. Um, but being barefoot is actually quite a big part of uh, the relaxation. The funny thing is, I mean, I've actually, uh, okay, I've been out and so on, but I've never actually worn socks in about, in about five or six days. What if I have? It's been for a very short period of time. Um, so I do find that quite, it's the shape, I mean the shape of my foot has changed. Oh, there has been all the obvious, obvious changes. But even, okay, I've been obsessed with getting to the 70. And here we are for about, what, 14 walks off it. Um, and I suppose I could get it sooner if I did two walks a day, which might be possible tomorrow, I'm not sure. Uh, it could be possible today if I had to, if I didn't have stuff to do. Um, again, it's timing it just right. Even originally today, if I could have got off my arse sooner, but me being me, I had a phone call to make, I had emails to deal with. Um, then I. Uh, and even just as I'm heading out, I've just got something else which I was having to deal with. So even, I think, yeah, there's always something that needs dealt with. 
and even when I get home, if I really push myself, I still have floors to mop, uh, bathroom to clean, the washing thing, you know, it's just trivial, trivial day to day things, which always seems to take a long time. Getting out here, doing a major walk takes about doing some of the things that I'd like to do would take a day, would be a day job. On a Friday and Saturday then those will be those will be kind of day jobs. But uh, they're worth it. Like I was said in the last couple of days, I'm meant to be doing the fourth road bridge with Anik. Uh, but sorry, with Annika and um, yeah, we'll get blasted. But again, it's just getting over to South Queen's Ferry. It's getting up in the morning, getting up very early, going over to South Queen's Ferry. Um, the walk itself, uh, because it's only what two k, uh, two kilometres. I think a lot of it's going to depend on how our feet are feeling after the first two kilometres and then if you're doubling back um, then okay, four kilometres, so what, four kilometres, two and a half miles uh, two and a half miles over two and a half miles over the asphalt or basically path um, not easy, but I dare say there's worse. Uh, then Saturday, possibly a beach walk. Um, we'll see. If not, we'll be back here. Um, possibly a beach walk, but... Uh, a lot of running about, I guess. That's the thing, even... I think the big thing in life is to stay busy. So the shot of, uh, I always like seeing Arthur seat in the distance. Um, but even when you're meant to be... Even when you're not feeling that you're greatest, you're still run, running about a lot. Or there's always something being done in life. I was thinking about it earlier on. But I've got a friend who's a single parent, she's always been a single parent, her uh, ex-partner doesn't help her out at all, ever. If he does, it's only minuscule amounts of, uh, it's always only tiny bits of help. And I guess that's not unusual. But I don't know what's worse, having a partner that, like that or who doesn't, and you know not to expect anything, and therefore you're relying on nothing. Then having a partner who you live with, who doesn't want to you're still having to provide to a point. I don't know. I mean, I've been I've been in both situations. Um, to be honest, yeah, like I said yesterday, I think the real heroes in life are single parents. The people that don't rely on anyone, not that I ever have done, not that I've ever asked anybody for anything. Uh, I think I'm one of those that just batter, uh, just gets on with it. I moan about it, but I uh, just get on with it. I'm not scared of doing the long hours, I have done the long hours, I know what it's like to do so in 80 hour weeks. Although, as a humble 21 year old, uh, I did work in a shop and I did, I think my record was what, 90, 97 hours working in a shop. Uh, I did about 24 hours in two uh, nine days. Um, working in some shop in the mid 90s and the run up to the, uh, Christmas that year. No, by God, that was hard. <laughs> I remember being, uh, it was only, uh, I was 21, but I remember doing a 17 hour shift and by the end of it I was walking home and just walking down this path and my balance had practically gone. Uh, so, uh, I remember I, I was communi communicating with, I was living at home at the time, so I was communicating with my mum by this uh, grid that I'd drawn up. Uh, 
and we were communicating brief, the briefest messages and ticking off, ticking off the days till the day of Christmas and that day off, uh, last day off. Uh, yeah, I remember having about what, three or four hours sleep back in. Slept my guts out for about another ten hours. Um, I'd been completely brain dead in the process. Christmas, funnily enough, uh, on that Christmas day. Um, I was fine that Christmas day, it was the Boxing Day that, what about six months of doing, uh, 60, 70 hour weeks. Um, hip, uh, just completely hit me. The funny thing is, I don't even know why I did it, I didn't even know that I needed the money. But here's the even crazier thing, is I was only, I was in what, about 21 at the time. And, okay, I was a glorified shelf, I was a shelf stacker. And I didn't need the money. But I was still drinking about, what, 15, 16 pints a day. If I was doing a 60 hour a week, then I was drinking, uh, drinking 15, 16 pints at the weekend. Plus shots. Then getting up the following day hungover and spending the day recovering until I played football that night. Uh, going into work, my ankle might be done in. Uh, normally it was my knee. He had a bad habit of popping out, which to the to this day it still acts as a barometer. Um, I, always, I think it's a, I think it's quite a thing with a lot of people that. You can, de- uh, when the, you can definitely tell when rain's coming because you can feel it in your knee. Looking at this in the camera, the hills look so much bigger to my eye than what they do ever on the camera. Uh, but yeah, uh, there has been studies to suggest that uh, the effect of the, of the climate on your joints and that can be quite often be the case. Um, I guess I personally, yeah, I guess there's a lot to be said for it. Um, and dare say we'll be soon, uh, soon feeling it in the next few months because what I'll be here for uh, four months, two days to the end of the year. So we're already. 44 walks and uh, I walk every three days. Like I say, best try and get as much done as quickly as what we can do because at the end of the day, when um, I will be dressed like this, okay, probably with a waterproof, but I am going to be pushing myself around the fields or trying to do some form of barefoot walk every day unless too exhausted but uh, I will be unless conditions play a part in it but the winter was quite slow last year never really hit till January well till December January um, and because I'm always wearing shorts here then I'm always using this as a workout or that's how I see it uh, yep, I still need to get the website up and running, I still need to do all that. Lots of things I still need to do. But the big thing above all else is the big thing is all about walking. It's all about the trail, it's all about getting the fresh air. Um, it's all about getting out there. Although I have to say my knees are feeling a bit funny today. And I've got no idea why. Uh, just one of those things, I guess. But I 
guess I'm walking relatively fast today. The path it's not so not that soft. Um can do with some more rain but I think the forecast for the next few days is dry and warm. Complete opposite of last Sunday. Uh, I wouldn't mind it raining every now and then. But the person I was walking with on Saturday did say that uh, she found it quite she found it better, to, she found it easier on the softer ground. But again, she was normally walking. Uh, I guess, like a uh, like full of said, it's totally different to walking in the house to walking out here. But again, because I'm doing it regularly and every day, then you don't feel anything. Or you don't feel it as much. Where in a couple of months ago, I would have felt everything. Uh, and because I'm walking about the house barefoot, then I don't, have that, I don't really have that much carpet. Uh, then it is all about getting your feet uh, to be that bit thicker, the soles to be that bit more durable. On YouTube, there's a Russian video for your game where you actually see them talking about that. And you see them putting out cigarette butts on them to their heels. Now, as a non-smoker, there's no way that I would be doing that, but I was like, okay, point made. I guess that shows you how thick the skin is and how durable it can be. However, it's all related to the person. Um, I guess it was kind of interesting, but I mean, there's... Anyway, going back to what I was talking about earlier on. Uh, Basically, I was out at a gig with a friend a couple of weeks ago. Um, probably more than I mentioned, it was some a cappella thing, which each to their own. I can't really preach. But, okay, it wasn't my thing, but I appreciated what they did. I always, appre I always appreciate live music. Even if it's not my thing, I'll still get into it. Uh, and it was part of the city that I'd never been to. Well, I kind of walked past, but I'd never actually seen. You know how you, when you're walking about, how you never really appreciate your surroundings until you actually take your time to do so. Um, and I found there was a smith, but a bit of labyrinth, as I put it. And I've always thought of labyrinths as being very gothic and beautiful and grandiose, wherein this was actually quite simple. It was just markings in the ground. Uh, it was close to Edinburgh University, George Square, which again you always equate George Square to um, Glasgow. And it was just markings in the ground, it was just a very, very simple. Well, it's cold, but it's not too bad. Uh, and I think what I was saying was uh, the route was actually quite simple. It wasn't anything massively complicated. It wasn't huge. Uh, but the distance that you would cover would be would be actually quite. It would be a good distance. Um, and I was like, it was the, the same. The idea was that you would. Uh, but it was built years ago. Probably, I think, in the 1800s, I think. And the idea was that you would find it relaxing just walking along, walking through this maze. And, yeah, I was like, that is actually quite a good idea. And we're talking about the whole mindfulness thing, which I've often said, and I say it often enough. Uh, I've got no idea what on earth mindfulness is. Uh, to me, I put that thing about clearing your mind. I don't know how you can... Con uh, it says it takes years of practice. Well, the very fact that you're practicing and clearing your mind. Uh, again, I'd probably need to do a lot of reading into it, but 
I totally get the whole thing with yoga because it's hair and pilates because it's all about uh, strengthening the body and so on. And it's also about focused on breathing, I get all that. But I still find, being brutally honest, I actually find this much more relaxing. I find it much more relaxing, taking my shoes off. I don't know if it's becoming one with nature. I just find it much more relaxing. This is this is where I relax. Yeah, I get some funny looks. Um, I don't know enough people to care. Although this can be a bit uncomfortable. Don't know if I make other people uncomfortable, but. Uh, This is where I relax, and because there's not that many people that I'm likely to see, because I'm careful about the times that I come down, although yesterday, today I came down about 20 past 11, so it wasn't too bad. Uh, this is where I relax. This is where, okay, 26 minutes, oh, be about 40, 40, 40, 50 minutes that I'm out. Must say the first little bit. But this is where I relax. Feet are dirty, but it's easier to clean your feet than it is to clean your, uh, your shoes. Okay. It's funny when we're uh, but yeah, uh, there's a labyrinth uh, not far from Edinburgh Uni, which again is on my list of it's on my list of about 10 to do. Um, although one of them I've done, uh, I think Friday I'm meant to be, well, Friday Carter Seat's meant to be, uh, Fourth Road Bridge is meant to be one of them. Did the old one, but I've never done the new one. Although, I'm debate, uh, is it possible to do two at once? given it's a big distance and it's over, uh, over pavement. I suppose it's doable in the summer. I've never actually looked at the new one. I know there is a walkway. Going up to Dundee, I know there's, it's, easy to, it's easier to do the Tay Bridge because there's a walkway right up the middle, uh, right through the middle. In Cardin, I don't know. I think most bridges there are. Uh, uh, Tape Bridge would be, I suppose it would be an interesting achievement to do all three, uh, to do about four. And I only when I did the FCP, I did have the chance to do the Concordon Bridge. And it would have added, it uh, wouldn't have added that much more onto it. Um, to my eternal regret, I regret not doing it. But you've got Concordant at one end and you've got nothing at the other, really. Uh, and also, the end of the FCP is actually at this foot of the Concordant Bridge anyway, at the Fife end of it. So technically, if I had done it, I would have done more. Um, I don't know. It would have been, uh, I suppose it would have been an interesting nice one to have, nice one to have said I've done. Okay. Okay, go home. I talk to the cat. You bond with the cat. Um. All the footsteps being slightly different to what they were earlier, but more slapping. Changing them a bit. Oh. Guess I'll catch the back end of a film. Uh, don't know, relax, catch the end of a film, make a couple of phone calls, check some email. And 
Um, and tomorrow morning the same. More phone calls first thing in the morning, appointments to be made. Probably have to put on socks, which that'll find that'll be interesting. Um, even to get to South Queen's Ferry on Friday, I'll have to put, put on socks. Uh, that'll be right. Friday's got to be the interesting one because I will be running about a lot. Um, might have to see if I can get a portable charger as well, or find a portable charger. Okay. What's the planning to do? You always, you're always trying to. Excuse me. You're always trying to think ahead. Time it, but I always time it for that. Okay, a couple of bugs in my neck. And so this time where the little bastards bite. Last wee bit. Okay, four fifty six, so um uh, fifty six, so we sixty by Sunday. Cool. Um, uh, then this was ten days later. Okay, sixty by the start of September. Um, okay, everything's doable. Again, more than anything, it's just about the relaxation that you get from doing this. There will be some days where I can't go out. <laughs> well, but I'll try. Uh, also, I've got to allow for the field getting ploughed. Um, So I should be finished about 35, 36 minutes, so still good video, still long. Um, right, big one, must charge uh, some, ba uh, some battery packs for Friday. Um, weather had to be us, I'm not a big, they're not the greatest. But 
I'm going to have to give me about an extra 10% of that something. Um, God knows there's no way what to charge them. Uh, however, let's have a worry. Well, mind your worry. And that's me.